All right, one more topic from P3. We're going to talk about radical equations, which are simply equations that involve uh, square roots. Now, the way to deal with these is to start off by isolating the radical. So in this case, we'll want to subtract 1 from both sides. And in doing so, we get the square root of 2x plus 1 all by itself. And then on the right-hand side, we have x minus 1. So the whole point of this is to get the square root by itself, so then you can square both sides. Or in other words, get rid of the radical. So if we square both sides, squaring will get rid of the square root. And then we square the right hand side. So we square the left, square the right, squaring the left gets rid of the square root. So we just have the right squared now. Now squaring is just multiplying this x minus 1 by itself. So we can FOIL or distribute this. And that gets us x squared minus x minus x plus 1. So if we simplify, we can get minus x and minus x to be a minus 2x. And now, we just solve. And looking at this equation, I see x squareds, I see x's, and I see numbers. That's all that's here. So this is a quadratic. So I'm going to get everything on one side. I like my x squared term to be positive, no negatives in front. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So minus 2x minus another 2x will be minus 4x. Subtract 1 from both sides. And that'll just leave us with 0 equals x squared minus 4. Now, this is quadratic, but there's only two things. So this should be fairly easy to factor. We just ask ourselves, what's in common with both terms? And in this case, we have an x in common. And pulling x out of x squared, we're left with x. And x out of minus 4x leaves us with just minus 4. So with quadratics, once we have them factored, we set each factor equal to 0. So we have x equals 0, and then x minus 4 equals 0. So this first equation is solved. And in the second equation, all we have to do is add 4 to both sides. So our solutions are x equals 0 or x equals 4. But, checking we're on step 4, but we need to check. So we're going to stick each value of x back into the original problem. and see if they work. If they do, they're actual solutions. If not, they're what we call extraneous solutions. So plugging 0 in, the original equation was square root 2x plus 1, so this is going to be square root 2 times 0 plus 1. Then we add 1, and we're expecting this to be, or hoping this to be equal to, 
x, or in this case, 0. Well, 2 times 0 is just 0. Then we add 1, take the square root, and add a second 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1. And perhaps you can already see, we're not going to get 0. This is 1 plus 1, and that is not 0. So x equals 0 is not a solution. That's an extraneous solution. It's a solution we got introduced by our method of solving, but doesn't actually solve the original problem. Let's see if we even have one solution. Does x equals 4 work as a solution? So 2 times 4 plus 1, take the square root of all that, add 1, and hopefully we end up with 4. Well, 2 times 4 is 8, then add 1, that should give us 9. Square root of 9 is 3, and add 1, and we certainly do get 4. So in this case, our only solution is that x equals 4.